Okay, so we're going to put this wheel into the lathe, check it out. And if you can see the part that's ate up right there, what we're going to do is take a needle file and we're going to burnish or we're going to make that all square and even. We're going to take that down to where we don't see that line where it's worse anymore. I'm holding my needle file perfectly even, parallel with the shaft. The line is almost gone. You want to be careful to keep your knuckles out of the spinning teeth of that wheel because it will eat up your knuckles like a small saw blade. We're taking just a little bit down at a time. And our line is almost gone. Right there we can just barely feel where it was ate into it. We're going to go just a little bit more. That went pretty deep and that's going to be a very small pivot. If it gets much smaller than this, you may take that pivot all the way off of there and put a new one in. Okay. That line is gone. I'm not sure if we can zoom in on that or not. But our pivot is nice and parallel all the way across and what we're going to do is we're going to fit a bushing to that pivot and put that bushing back into the clock where the pivot goes so now we're going to get some buff sticks and we're going to start cleaning that up and make it nice and smooth make it look like glass looking at the camera and make sure I'm still on it and ended up getting off of what I wanted to do there. That's smooth. Then we're going to go with a 3 aught. Smooth it down with that. This is a 3 aught sandpaper on a buffing stick. I've got a good edge right here that hasn't been used, so I'm going to use that. Just make sure I have it on there parallel. And then if you look at it and it's nice and straight, there's no lines in where you was buffing at, you're in pretty good shape. Now we're going to go with a 5 aught. You don't want to push those too hard or you end up tearing up your buffing stick. The 
can see how nice and shiny that's getting. It's just really, really smooth. Now we're going to use a burnisher. And I've got a little spot of oil over here that I put the burnisher in. You can see the... I'm going to use the burnisher and I've got a little spot of oil over here that I'm going to put the burnisher in. You can see the oil on the burnisher. Now we're going to spin this just a little bit faster. Just a little more speed there. And we're putting smooth metal against smooth metal. We're both hardening that pivot and we are making it uh, very, very, very smooth with that metal against metal with a burnisher. Now that pivot is just as smooth as can be. Let me grab that out of there. You can see nice how nice and smooth that pivot is. Now that pivot is pretty small. That's it. I wouldn't want to go much smaller than that. If I get much smaller than that, I'm going to go ahead and cut that pivot off of there, drill down through this shaft, and put a new pivot in. But that one will be just fine for what we need. So we are going to do the bushings and the broaching and the, the burnishing of the pivots, and we're going to put this clock back together after we wash it, of course.